Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka Daboo, Daboo.com with a Daboo.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, September 9th, 2014 and starts you off at the area in the Bahamas that we've been monitoring for the last couple of days now. National Hurricane Center this afternoon at 2 p.m. putting a 20% chance of development next five days. Uh, each morning, this system has looked better and better. Uh, this morning was no different. However, this afternoon, has become less organized. We've got plenty of time to watch it uh, as it's going to start to move off towards the northwest, towards the Florida Peninsula, probably tomorrow. And tomorrow's probably going to be our best chance at uh, some organization. As you can see earlier this morning, the convection spun away off towards the southeast, away from the upper mid-level vorticity that's right in here towards the central Bahamas this afternoon. It's this area of convection that's moved off towards the south southeast that will pick back up and start watching tomorrow. So uh, nothing in the forecast as far as development uh, today. Uh, again, only a 20% chance of development next five days uh, from the National Hurricane Center. Models have been hinting at development. We'll get into that in just a few minutes as we uh, look a little further. But also wanted to show you over in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, an area that we started watching this morning. And this is along a low pressure trough. And uh, guys, anytime this time of year, you know, the old rule of thumb is always watch the tail ends of fronts uh, or along fronts for an area of low pressure to develop. This also looked pretty good this morning. You can see the little spin in here uh, just south of the Big Bend area. Now, same thing with the area in the Bahamas. We're going to be watching this starting again tomorrow morning to see if there's anything left. Uh, so there could be a, a shot at something trying to develop here as well. Um, right now, it's just something to, to watch. When we get out into the Atlantic, wanted to show you this area of low pressure that's going to develop into the storm into a storm uh, just west of Portugal. Now this is in the 48 hour surface map out of the Ocean Prediction Center so showing that uh, a storm is going to develop and this is going to produce seas in excess of 25 feet. Now this is going to get a northeast ground swell going and there's a possibility that some of this trace northeast ground swell can work its way into Puerto Rico. We're going to be watching that over the next couple of days for you Puerto Rico followers uh, on that because you're also going to have 91L Invest moving through the Central Atlantic and the Northeast winds coming off that uh, 91L, if it starts to develop, could grab some of this northeast ground swell that's generated from this storm west of Portugal and help push that into Puerto Rico. Not going to do much for the east coast of the United States other than the fact of getting the uh, ocean heading in the right direction towards the right coast. Now, when we look at the swell forecast, as you can see, now this is the 96-hour swell forecast showing that the area of low pressure is still out here just west of Portugal, but look Look at this northeast ground swell now. Puerto Rico is down here in the very bottom left-hand portion of your image, but some uh, 13 to 14 second northeast ground swell periods generating from this. And in the bottom of this image right in here, this is where 91L Invest comes into the picture and has a shot at starting to develop in the four to five day forecast. And as this system starts to lift north of Puerto Rico, that northeast winds that are associated with that and the ground swell could catch some of this northeast ground swell generated from the storm west of Portugal and push that all the way into Puerto Rico. So Puerto Rico followers, we'll be closely following that and we'll give you an update on that uh, as we get into the forecast period. For Florida surfers on this area of low pressure that's in the Bahamas, going to take you out, excuse me, we'll go to a wider view here. Let this thing get a chance to check up, check, catch up. This is windalert.com and windalert.com showing you just west of Portugal over here towards the right hand portion of your image. Here's that area of low pressure that's going to develop into a storm. Seas increasing to excess of 25 feet, going to get that northeast ground swell going. And then again, down here, you've got uh, 91L Invest trying to spin up. And then here's where the northeast winds, this is Tuesday of next week. So it might be Monday or Tuesday of next week for you Puerto Rico followers, Hispaniola at a chance at some northeast ground swell uh, coming from that low pressure and 91L Invest forecast to uh, turn into possibly Tropical Storm Edward, maybe Hurricane Edward, however you want to pronounce it. Now for you Florida surfers, let's take a little closer look and we'll let this catch up to you right here. Let me start it off. 
Give it a second. And as you can see, it's tomorrow. This is Wednesday now. As this area of low pressure tr tries to spin up in here, just to the uh, east of the North Bahamas, Th this is showing winds, northeast winds, 20, 25 knots in here, close to the center, 15 to 20 knots further out, with some southeast fetch aimed in here on the uh, uh, northeast side of the center of rotation. So that should get some southeast groundswell in here for southeast states, northeast Florida, and some northeast uh, wind swell in here towards South Florida. This map is for Thursday. I'm going to advance it forward for you just a little bit. And as you can see, it starts to get a little bit better defined in here, more northerly in here in between South Florida and the Bahamas as far as winds are concerned. But this should elevate the surf going into the weekend for you guys. And then also uh, into the weekend for uh, Central Northeast Florida on up in here towards, towards the Southeast uh, uh, states. That's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.